Soil moisture sensors are incredibly useful in agriculture, but they have one major drawback. Connecting them to a computer requires extremely long cables. Hi, I'm Tim, an electrical engineer who applies engineering techniques to gardening and agriculture. Today, I'll show you how to convert a wired soil moisture sensor into a wireless one using Wi-Fi. When the soil around this plant gets too dry, it will send me a text message reminding me to water it. We're going to use the VH400 soil moisture sensor along with a Veggie Hub. The Veggie Hub is a battery powered Wi-Fi sensor reader that reads the sensor data and transmits it over HTTPS to any server. In our case, we'll be using the free services of VeggieCloud.com, which allows us to store data, send email notifications when thresholds are crossed, and visualize the data on a phone. The Veggie Hub works with any analog sensor, including soil temperature sensors, humidity sensors, barometric sensors, you name it. If it outputs an analog voltage, the Veggie Hub can read it. These Wi-Fi hubs are optimized for battery efficiency. This AA battery pack, for example, can last about a year while reading the sensors once an hour. The hub's casing is rugged and waterproof, making it ideal for outdoor use. The Veggie Hub functions as both a web client and a web server, meaning multiple hubs can communicate with each other over a local network. They serve as simple building blocks that can be combined to create complex irrigation systems. For instance, a soil moisture sensor hub can send data directly to a sprinkler controller, shutting it off when the soil moisture reaches the desired level. Soil temperature sensors can also help protect plants from frost by preventing sprinklers from running when the temperatures drop too low. In this video, I won't be diving into complex applications. Instead, I'll walk you through setting up a moisture sensor with a veggie hub and getting an email notification on your phone. The first step is wiring the sensor to the hub. There are three wires that need to be connected, ground, power, and the sensor output. If your sensor has more or fewer wires, contact me and I'll help you set it up. Next, log into your VeggieCloud account and add a hub. Doing this generates an API key which you'll enter into your Veggie Hub so it knows where to send the data. To set up the hub, power cycle it and it will become a Wi-Fi access point. Connect to it using your phone and open its settings page. Enter your local network credentials, then power cycle it again to connect it to your network. Reconnect to it as a hotspot to find out its IP address. Once you have that, you can access the hub directly from your phone or computer. I'm going to switch to my computer because honestly, I'm old and I don't like tiny screens. Now we enter the API key from VeggieCloud, linking the hub and the server. I can press this button or power cycle the unit to send a soil moisture reading to the server. When the LED turns green, it means the data has been successfully sent. In VeggieCloud, we can visualize the data in tables and graphs. It's also incredibly easy to set up email alerts so that you'll get a notification when your plant needs water. To simulate dry soil, I'm going to remove the soil moisture sensor. Let's see what happens. There you go. I just got a message from my plant. We demonstrated this using a house plant, but you can imagine how powerful this system is for outdoor irrigation and greenhouse automation. People tend to overwater wasting thousands of dollars each year or underwater losing valuable plants. A system like this quickly pays for itself. Check out vegetronics.com for cool gardening gadgets and automation ideas. Thanks for watching. Ha, 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 ha.